Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. Sorry we're starting it a bit abruptly. Basically been for a coronavirus test. <sighs> I'm gonna give you a rundown in a minute. I'm gonna go get a coffee on the way home. This is gonna be a autumnal type vlog because it is really rainy outside. I know I said I wouldn't come back to Starbucks. However, this took a lot of inner turmoil to decide to come here and get a pumpkin spice latte because Costa aren't doing it this year and I couldn't find anywhere else near me that was doing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a pumpkin spice latte from it and then match the donation to a charity. Honestly, it took a lot of decision making. I was very stressed. I asked for loads of recommendations on my Instagram um, and I couldn't find anywhere else that does pumpkin spice latte. So this is my drink from Starbucks and then after this, no. Hopefully next year Costa bring it back. Basically, um, I've gone to Starbucks, I've got my pumpkin spice latte, I wore my mask as I went through the drive-thru, I'm gonna go home straight away now. Um, I had a COVID test this morning. It was meant to be a drive-thru, but the online online it said it's a drive-thru test centre. So I went in and I wore literal jogging bottoms. And then they said to me that the online thing has like malfunctioned and it's actually a walk-in and they're just saying it's a drive-in. So I had to get out of the car, wait an hour, drenched, completely drenched. Like my, I don't know how well you can see, but this is all soaked. My Things were soaked. Yeah, it's not fab, but we can't do anything about it. And it wasn't their fault, so I didn't really care. But if I knew I had to wait outside, I would have bought a jacket, like a coat. Um, I'll show you my outfit, actually. Hold on. My normal Nike shoes on, Air Force Ones, these Adidas, like joggers. Face mask, because it's part of my outfit of the day now. And this jumper that I always, always wear. The sun's coming now. What are you doing? Is it an autumnal day? Is it a summer day? What is going on? What's going on? Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. However you want me. However you need me. Basically, over the past few days, I've felt really lethargic and like achy and loads of migraines, which I think is to do with my medication that I'm taking. It's a nerve-based pain medication that I'm taking that I've switched recently and the side effects are muscle pains, headaches, stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's my, I'm 99% sure it's my meds, but I was meant to be going out today to Leicester with Anna. So I booked myself a test this morning because I was worried because obviously I live with my grandma. I'm pretty sure it's my meds, the change of meds has caused all this, but just to be on the safe side, I'll do a test because I have had like occasional high temperatures as well. So I was like, you know what, let me just do it just to be safe. And I was like, Anna, we're not meeting today. I've done an antibody test and I've been exposed to it before. So I think last year when I was really ill during my dissertation hand in week, I think I had COVID then, uh, but obviously we didn't know what it was. And so I, I'm positive for antibodies. Like I have the antibodies in my system. So I think I've had it before, but I was like, you know what, let's just check just because I'm a worrier. Like I panic and I stress. So I was like, let's do it just in case. It was quite a quick process. It was very socially distanced and everything, everything was good. I basically filmed myself having my test done because I wanted to keep it for my kids that I'm not gonna have basically. And it was odd. The mouth swab initial thing, cause obviously a lot of, I've done a lot of like blood sample studies and all that stuff at uni. So I know how the whole process works. So I know how the, like the packaging and like bottles and uh, hazardous waste, all that stuff is like, how you're meant to use it and all that. So I knew how to do that. But the inside swab, doing it in your mouth, that was fine at the back. Doing it up your nose, people have said to me that it's not, it's easier when you do it yourself, which this was. Um, normally, if it's a drive through which it was meant to be, they come and do it for you. They stick it up your nose, but I think apparently they yank it up your nose. I did it myself, and it was horrid. It wasn't ba as bad as I thought it would be, but it tickled a lot. Like, I was holding it in. Like, I was doing it and doing it. Like, I had to pull it out twice to sneeze because... I get very sneezy quite quickly. So did that, that was quite quick. The whole process actually took like five minutes, but the waiting was so long because there's only three booths and so many people. Um, and a lot of people were annoyed and complaining about the lack of drive through. So went and did that, went and submitted that. So hopefully should get my results in 24 hours but I'm gonna stay inside anyway. So I thought this would be the perfect day to be doing this autumnal vlog. So basically, we're just gonna do autumn tings today. So autumn ting number one was to get a pumpkin spice latte. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna donate the price of this I paid, so I think £4.39 to um, Black Lives Matter because my beef with Starbucks is that when I worked there, we weren't allowed to support Pride. We weren't allowed to oops, wear clothing that supported Pride because it was political. Starbucks as a company supports Pride, but they aren't allowed your employees aren't allowed to show it, which is what we were told. And then with the Black Lives Matter thing, staff employees weren't allowed to wear Black Lives Matter t-shirts, pins, or like little pieces on their uniforms. Um, and this is not even just a health and safety hazard, it's just like wearing a t-shirt with like a little Black Lives Matter logo, a black t-shirt with a Black Lives Matter logo, because the Starbucks uniform is black. There is no issue there. They're just trying to get out of it. And I've <laughs> also, they don't pay their taxes. Why should I? But I do because I'm a good citizen. And a lot of YouTube, I see a lot of YouTubers going there all the time. And I'm just like, do you 
you guys not know how bad it is or do you choose to just ignore it? Food waste was a big, 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 big thing at my store. I don't know if it's everywhere, but I know it's a problem. They waste so much food. I can say this now because I'm not there anymore. One night I took over 350 quids worth of food. I was going to go in the bin. Main thing that bothered me when I was there was management. It's very capitalistic and it's very Starbucks first, employees after. For example, making people wake up at 4.35 in the morning to make coffee, paying them minimum wage to do a lot of work i have a health condition so i had to have a lot of leniency in that and they wouldn't to some extent initially they would but then they were understaffed so they were like no and i was like look i'm not gonna put myself at risk and um, make myself more unhealthy like make myself more ill because you can't be bothered to do more hours like management is very much like money first and they don't really care about the employees. In my personal experience, and a lot of people at my store felt the same way, it's very disposable. Like, they make you feel like you're not really worth anything. I just don't like the company. Um, so what doing this today has really, really annoyed me. I wanted to go to Costa, but Costa aren't doing it this year. This is my only problem. So I was like, look, I'll do it, and then I'll do something good. It doesn't taste the same. When I worked at Starbucks, I would drink when I because last year was the first year I tried them, and that was when I was working them. I drank so many of these, and these gave me the shits. This coffee gives me the shits. Um, sorry, TMI, but I drank about like six of these one time, and because they were new to me, I was so excited about them, so I drank like six. I don't even want to know how many calories there are. I know there's a lot of calories in this because it's pure sugar syrup. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting, it's really not doing me a favour. I need to shut that blind anyway. We're going for the cosy vibes. I'm going to edit a video that's meant to be going up next week. You will have seen it by now, it's the explanation as to why it's got a week off. YouTube just uploading. Chunky, chunky video. It's like 25 minutes, so I need to get that edited down. Right, cue time lapse. I was gonna show you the sky, but I don't know if you can see it. It's like a pinky grey. It looks like candy floss. It's nice. Also, we got our garden done. The place where in our garden where the triangle grass bit was, if you remember, um, I'll try and put a clip in where you can see it. Basically it's very autumnal outside. Look how it's so cold. Like it's very cold. Look. Can you see? Awesome! This is the corner right in the back, and then you turn around. I'm glad we kept the trees and everything. And this is what it looks like now. So it's all like graveled up and all of that. Basically my phone did it better because I had the wide angle lens. But yeah, I love this little area down there because it's like hidden. Don't really like the pattern of it from bird's eye view. It's not very symmetrical. It doesn't really work, but this bit's cool. This is like a hidden like, I can see it like a lot. It's just like a hidden den area where you can sit. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a barbecue and like dining and all that it still needs to be finished but this is what it looks like hold on let me just jump over and that's what it looks like now it looks pretty clean but like i said the symmetry on that is not very good i've spent the afternoon editing a video that's going up on monday which is the explanation as to why i took a week off youtube i kind of didn't really edit it much i kind of just left it as it is i just cut out the main chunks of constant repetition um didn't put any edits on didn't put any fun overlays or anything just wanted it to be honest and less gimmicky so put that out uploaded that's ready for monday I need to do the video for thursday but i'm gonna make cookies i think after dinner but dinner i'm gonna have a fat pie broccoli mash come on if this doesn't scream autumn to you i don't know what does look at that tree can you see look how orange girl look how orange you look you all look we are shining, shining. Girl, look how orange you look, girl. Do you know what I haven't used in a year? This bad boy. The last time this was probably turned on was November last year. So you know what? 
Let's get the vibes going. Ooh, spooky vibes. Who makes is not a guilty pleasure, everybody. I swear you put the sun up in my sky. What's next? Woman like me? I always say what I'm feeling. Three, two, one. Focus. Now look at that. Would you look at that? Wow. It's focusing on me. Got my lava lamp on my bookshelf. We have those light bulbs that I got from Ikea on my magnet board. Look how cosy it feels. It feels so nice. The oranges are beautiful. And then we have my lamp, which is from Next. And then this beautiful little candle. Oh my god, I just spoke for about five minutes on the bloody camera being recording. So I found this playlist on Spotify called Chill Hits. And it's got like Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, Katy Perry, Khalid, Selena Gomez, Georgia Smith. So just very chill, chilled out vibes. So it's this playlist if you want to find it. The next day. I wanted to end the video off now. I forgot to end it off yesterday. I wanted to do a slick end to the evening and then pick it up today. So I'm going to end it here. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you got the autumnal vibes. I hope you felt all cozy and gave you some inspiration for a night in. Anyway, before my camera battery rudely interrupted me and said goodbye. I will say goodbye. I shall see you guys in my next video, which will be on a Monday or a Thursday. I'm planning to get this one out on a Thursday, so I'll see you on a Monday for the next one. Till then, take care. Question, should I upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays? Because that's when everyone else seems to upload, or should I stick to Mondays and Thursdays? Let me know. But yeah, till the next one, take care, stay safe, get all cosy, and I shall see you very soon.